It's fucking over. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we finally saw it and. Resident this... Evil, the final chapter. Case closed. <laughs> Was it worth it? Fuck no. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a short and spoiler free review and then we're gonna tear the fucking shit out of it. So if you want, stay tuned for that part. This one is a complete turnaround in terms of how Paul W.S. Anderson has made these movies. When we talked about how Afterlife was long, boring shots and slow-mo 3D, this one he seemed to be like, okay, you guys complain about that, let me take it up a notch by giving it ADD times a, t a thousand. Uh, I felt like uh, either the cameraman or the editor was Michael J. Fox, like the whole time. <laughs> this movie could probably give you seizures. Like the amount of cuts there are. There's probably more cuts in this movie than the entirety Half of the franchise, franchise in total. Fight scenes are all that quick editing shit that they've been doing in the Transporter and Taken movies, and it's it's so obviously bad. And then you were pointing out how the lighting is awful. It's very it dark makes it for worse. a lot of movie, yeah. Like, what would you say are your top flaws? Because I have very specific ones for this film, but I actually enjoyed a lot of it. It was pretty fun. There are some enjoyable moments for, for the fact that it is edited so fast. It is a change. It's definitely, it keeps you in it. Mind you, at one point I got bored just because of how spontaneous the editing was. It just kind of took me out of it. I don't care about anyone in this movie, to be honest. Absolutely no one. And well, we cared about Wesker. Yeah, we cared about Wesker, but they fucked that up too. You'll find out in a bit. <laughs> Definitely editing was a huge issue, just far too rapid. I found that there was too many scenes cut in close-up, like mm -hmm. even action scenes. Uh, when you're doing quick cuts and everything is like right up in their face, it gets really confusing, especially when the scenes are so dark, which mm -hmm. is my second uh, major concern, is that for at least half the movie, maybe even a bit more, it's just very, very dark. Now we saw it in 3D. When you're wearing those glasses, it does yeah, kind dark of darken the, the film a little bit, but even then, it was like kind of hard to follow sometimes the action that was happening. Oh, yeah. But uh, definitely, my personal uh, gripe with this film is just how it totally ha takes the potential of the ending, which was the previous film, yeah. and ignores it. Yeah. Forgets it. And that's not even like a spoiler. It just sort of it pretends like that climactic finish didn't happen. Didn't even happen. Or it did happen, but we never got to see that cool battle in Sue, we just saw the aftermath, which is pretty lame. There are some interesting parts, Ian Glenn's kind of cool, he's really cool. hammy, he hands it. <laughs> I kept whispering to him, like, Ian Glenn is so good in this movie. He just cheeses it up. Cheeses it up. Oh, and probably my favorite part there's is... There's one scene where he's being villainous, and then he kind of like, looks back at the camera and like, smiles, <laughs> and... I don't know, I lost it then. Too many jump scares. Yeah, oh god, it was just like jump boom. scares in the beginning. There was like five of them, like chains, fallen flashlights, people in corners. Some of them were good. Like, some of them actually The first felt ones. Tense. The first one we knew was coming. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know how she There was it. one involving a large creature later, which was pretty Oh, decent. yeah. That was fun. That was, yeah, that was Like, cool. I laughed. Oh, yeah, this same. Yeah, so. So, if I were to rate this in terms of my rating system, it's not as bad as Aftermath, sorry, Afterlife. Afterbirth. <laughs> Afterbirth. And it's better than Retribution. It's better than Retribution. Oh That's god, it. yes. But it's still... Fuck, is it better than Apocalypse? <laughs> Apocalypse oh, had the... Oh, that's three... hard. Yeah. That's actually probably the hardest part. Is this hard? Is this worse than Apocalypse? Like, it was... Uh, it was... Okay, there was plenty of fun moments in the film. Mm -hmm. They... You know, if you are a fan or even sort of like a guilty pleasure fan of the series, they have a lot of references that they throw in. Some that you've seen many times already, like uh, the laser grid, which you'll see in the trailers. Yeah. But um, they do it in such a way where it still feels exciting to watch. And it's fun to see everything kind of come to a conclusion. But, uh, Apocalypse. Uh, like, what's this thing? I'm stuck on it. Yeah, I'd they're say they're both, they're both the same. I could see things in Apocalypse, but I think this movie, <laughs> I think this movie was more the, fun. The ed okay, there we go. The editing is exactly like Apocalypse, except even worse. Yeah, because in Apocalypse, at least it was well lit, and there was enough wide-angle shots that you could actually follow what's going on. The continuity was awful. 
but oh, yeah, the this one's better. Like the setup is better. It's just this terrible over editing. Yeah. I, it's a fun movie, but it's not a well made movie. It's a very, very scrapes by two out of seven for me. Scrapes the fucking line. I'd say like two and a half. Now we want to talk about the one thing. I want to talk about the one thing that really pisses me off. Spoiler the two, the two, the two, two. Uh, the first one is this movie basically retconned the entire goddamn series. It basically said that Alice has been a clone the whole goddamn time of old Alice. Who <laughs> Milodovich was acting as an old person. <laughs> Milodovich with like wrinkly makeup. <laughs> Pretending to be like some sort of weird Alzheimer's, like well, that's how you act, old kid. <laughs> the entire battle that we were totally led up to, we were expecting, you know, President Wesker's inauguration, talking about the need for global saturation in He's the world. Put up a wall so that he doesn't let the illegal zombies. Yeah, and, and then like, what are they going to give everyone free Uruboros? But no, we didn't get any of that. They completely fucking jumped to the end of that. They they wrecked it. You know what's funny? This whole film. It was building up Wesker. They would cut back to him every now and then, and yeah. he'd be like smirking, and he'd be doing some. He was like stabbing ice with ice pick. Like you're just <laughs> waiting for the rematch. You're like, okay, Wesker and Alice are gonna duke it out. You know, Wesker probably won't win, obviously, for the sake of the story. Yeah, but then, okay, so Wesker has been shot in the face multiple times. He's Brain been stabbed. Gone. He's been stabbed in the head. He's been blown up blank point range by a bomb. You want to know what fucking takes out Wesker? New challenger approaches. A fucking goddamn door! A fucking door! He got killed by a door! Not even killed! They like bowl off his foot and then he just kind of sat there waiting so to the die. So the Red Queen, uh, the AI that Umbrella developed to like run all their fancy sci-fi stuff, uh, basically is programmed so that she cannot harm anyone who works for Umbrella. So during this standoff where <laughs> you're fired! <laughs> <laughs> Where old ass Mila is looking at Wesker and she's just thinking like, well Wesker, you're just an employee. You're fired. And all of a sudden the AI closes the door on Wesker and he gets his leg severed. Which is another thing because Wesker was his boss originally. Yeah, so in Apocalypse, funny that No, no, no Extinction. Oh, Extinction oh. was the boss. Oh, we're talking about Apocalypse. Oh, right, No, right. Apocalypse the second two. No, 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 God, no. Extinction is still the best, in my opinion. So in Extinction, <laughs> that's just because you like Mad Max. In, uh, in Extinction, um, he, like, he answers to Wesker. Yeah. And Wesker's like the chairman. Like, and they call him Chairman Wesker. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, he's like a goon. In the opening scene of the film, he's seen just like the James Bond style like goon, like killing for the main villain. And he, yeah, he, he still has the walk. Like. Yeah, and that's it. He's killed by a fucking door. A yeah. fucking goddamn door. They added a lot of characters in the film, and... A lot there, of people there, who are gonna die. There was one death in particular. Uh, you probably didn't, don't agree, but I actually thought it was pretty well done. There was a lot of tension, and you weren't sure whether or not the character was actually gonna die, and you think, okay... Oh, the yeah, dead. there was a part of drama. Yes, there was one scene with a fan that actually was edited and shot Decent. That's almost like they gave it to someone else. Like, hey, do you want to edit this scene? Sure, <laughs> let me make the film good for like a minute. So, yeah, no, it's it's not like you're gonna have an aneurysm of watching it. Not if not from the story plot holes, which by the way they keep on showing you the bomb, the whole, the crater hole for uh, what happened with Raccoon City. And you, and you said that was the... That was the entirety of the plot holes that <laughs> anything written by Paul W. S. Anderson. They retcon things in previous movies in such a way where they just, like, vaguely reference them. She'll look at uh, Alexander Isaacs, uh, Ian Glenn's character, and then she'll be like, oh, I thought I killed you. And he's like... And then she's like, oh, you're a clone. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, cool. Yeah, That's no. wonderful. There's, goddamn, so many fucking clones. Like, the clone shit that I brought up in Retribution this is was, just out of fucking hand. This was as good, probably, as Star Wars Episode 2, a of the clones. <laughs> it's not the worst one, but I don't think I could watch it again. I swear I'd get a goddamn headache from all I could editing. watch it on a screen where I turn up the gamma by, like, a thousand, and then I could actually enjoy it. <laughs> so. Anyway, guys. I guess that's it. That is all of the Resident Evil movies. For now. Yeah, oh yeah, it's at the end you think that she sacrifices herself and the whole time we're like, oh, wow, that actually is not bad. Good job, Anderson. Oh, and then all of a sudden she starts waking up and I'm like, no, no, no. And then all of a sudden it just turns out she's a freaking alive. And he's like, fuck you, Anderson, fuck you. Mind you, he didn't do 
the recap thing as bad. Yeah, the intro, what we were expecting, like, 20, yeah. I'm gonna go get some popcorn, 20 minutes later I'll come back, <laughs> she'll finish recapping. They actually opened, we were actually like already joking, and then they started it differently. And I actually had to stop for a second, like, hold on, let me actually listen to this. Actually well, it was stupid because that would have actually been important had that actually been, you know, started from the fucking beginning. No, I feel like they came up with like all these ideas last minute. Like, how are we gonna finish this? Series? Oh yeah, like Paul, he's like, "Fuck, I wrote myself into a corner. So many goddamn corners. Wait, I'll just create a hole. I'll dig through the hole, and that's how I'll get out." I like how when the nuke went off in Raccoon City, it went just deep enough <laughs> to get to the entrance of the hive. By the way, there is no previews for this movie. They started, they did the animation, <laughs> they did the animation for like up and coming movies and then all of a sudden the Cineplex uh, symbol appeared and I'm like, wait a minute, they show that after the the, uh, the the trailers, like did they fuck it up? And then all of a sudden the movie started and I actually said out loud, holy shit, there's no trailers, out no loud. one wanted to put their trailers to this movie. No one, want, you just don't want to associate it. <laughs> no, movie. fuck, it was, no. Hey, but there's a new Resident Evil animated film coming out this year and it, you know what it's probably gonna be a heck of a lot better than this so yeah that's true we'll see well also resident evil 7 is out too i'm not gonna touch it but i know petrum's gonna be playing it oh the new run yeah. oh i beat that in a day i was playing like hardcore non-stop Fuck, no dude. sleep the anyway. game fantastic the movies oh yeah you gotta you gotta go in with a you gotta go in with some ouroboros with a heavy heart anyway guys that is uh it for us. Thank you for having watched all of our reviews. Uh, it was okay. painful. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. No. It's like looking back, it's like, this is, this is <laughs> no, like, it wasn't. It was a waste of hours of my life. It was. On well, my deathbed, when I'm like old and crippled, I'd be like, fuck, what a waste of time. <laughs> and meanwhile, the ghost of Paul W. Sanders is going to be counting all his money. <laughs> Bila, we need to make a movie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, we got the rest of the reviews in the playlist below. And like you said, we might review some of the animated ones, but... And John Wick 2. Oh yes, John Wick 2 is going to be sweet. That's coming soon. Anyway guys, that's all from us. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.